Hey guys, I thought I'd um, <coughs> do a video slash a podcast of um, my perfume collection part one. It's going to be in three or six parts, depending on how many um, I show. Because I should just say this now, I'm addicted to buying perfume, literally. Um, mainly because of synesthesia, which I'll explain that in another video. But let me just bring this down. I say perfume, actually, because there's my name. away from the laptop because it's like it's kind of awkward to keep I'm not gonna bring the whole box over but I'll bring them in excuse me a minute a little bit of a hiccup there um so here we go this is the first one I'm gonna show you oh just so you know um if you want to view these in any um sites what I'll do is I'll put I'll try and look for the sites um on the internet and see if I can get them. I don't know if all of these. The, the only reason I say this is because obviously I don't want people being like, "Oh, I really like that. Per I like the sounds of perfume," and not being able to purchase it. Because I know how I feel when I can't purchase a perfume that's not available in the UK, and it sounds like it smells delicious. Um. Anyway, yeah. Um. I think we'll start with these two actually. The ones that I'm holding in my hand right now are by, um. Al Rehab. Now. The, I'm not going to specify where I got these because um, um, it's it's a great place. It's, he has so many perfumes. The guy that I go to these go to for these. Um, they are actual. There is an actual company. For those of you who don't know, I don't know where it's from. I don't actually know. I think it might be. Um, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> this one I think is called Silver. Um, and these, I don't know if they're for men and women or just women. I don't haven't looked it up yet. Um, this one smells of to me because I don't have the notes at hand of spiciness. Like, yeah, it's like um, a soft smell. That sounds really weird, but that's that's my synesthesia talking. Um, yeah. It smells like, if you really want a description slash comparison, if you've ever smelt, um, do you know what, there's nothing I can compare to it, because it's, it's that much of a, a unique, to me it's unique, it's, it's very nice, and it's a 35ml bottle, I don't know if they come in bigger sizes, but it's a really nice shaped bottle as well, I like it, I like the shape of the bottle, it's cute, and it's very... It lasts for ages, and I also have some perfume um, oils by them, which are delectable, absolutely brilliant, and I love their perfumes. This is <clears throat> another perfume by them, and it's called this one. I adore this perfume so much. I wish I could purchase a bigger bottle of it because it's so delicious and lovely and just sweet and fun. It smells fun. Um, it smells like very sweet and very floral you can definitely smell the sweetness slash floral in there but it's also very spicy which again I like spicy things so yeah I like spicy perfumes and these were both I want to say 250 per bottle and they're both 35 mils I don't know how many ounces that is I think I want to say one point no maybe one ounce I don't know I'll look it up This is a different perfume by Yardley for, they're quite an old perfume, or traditional I like to call it, perfume brand, <laughs> um, perfume brand. Um, I should say now I have a lot of quote unquote mature scents. I like mature scents a lot more than I like younger scents, but I, I believe that perfume isn't really time left I don't what's the word it's not really designed for an age I don't think um, yeah um, it's called 
Lily of the Valley. I love the smell of lilies and rose and gardenia and tu patchouli and tuba rose. I don't know how you pronounce that, but yeah. It definitely smells like Lily of the Valley. Um, I don't... Honestly, I don't really like it in the lid because it smells like donuts in the lid. It actually does. But when you spray it on, I think... I'll spray it on me to give you what it smells like on the skin. I'm trying to spray it on my laptop, but... It's 125 mils and it was 15 pounds when I purchased it. Um, I don't know if, again, I should say I don't know if it's available in the UK, uh, out of the UK, sorry. And I mean, I presume it would be because it's it's not something that it's not really a niche fragrance thing. Um, and I'm doing what, exactly what the perfume shop told me not to do, but oh well. Um, it smells like mandarin a bit. But mainly lilies and that was it's I believe the I'll rehab our eau de toilettes or eau de puff I don't know actually and I've damaged the lid sorry on my lily of the valley perfume oh well um they also make for those of you are who are familiar with yard, yard yeah for those of you who are familiar with yardley they will they you'll know that they also make a very nice talc and powder and body washes and I have bought my mum one of those which is great <clears throat> um, I'll show you this one actually this one's a 30ml bottle and it's very 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 traditional fragrance I don't know who it's by so if there's any women slash people who know who this is it's called Tweed um, it's just called Tweed it's not um, it's not the Creed English twi um I think it's, it's not the Creed one, I know that, but it's, um, it smells really weird, it's it's really nice, but it smells really undescribable. You know, like Angel, it smells unique, and I have that perfume as well, I love Angel so much. Um, <laughs> you can hear me say that a lot, by the way, in these videos, so just, yeah, it's, you can't actually get it as far as I'm aware, outside of boots that I've seen anyway. I can't find um I can't find it anywhere other than boots and the boots website. So I don't even I don't know. Maybe you can find it on eBay or Amazon. Amazon, how do you pronounce that silly website? I never gone there. It's a good website but it's really annoying because so many people say Amazon and then Amazon and whatever. Same thing. Um <laughs> um getting off track, sorry. Yeah, it's a really nice bottle. I like the feel of the bottle. It's got like nice ridges to it, and it's um, it's kind of like I like the lid as well. It's kind of like it's a nice travel size, and it smells. If you, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. Um, an A and A, I think. That's just come into my mind right now. Um, for some reason, I don't even I haven't smelled that yet, but yeah, I'm probably way off track. But I don't know. Actually, no. Do you know what? It's it's um similar. To, it's not the same, but it's very almost similar to lace. And again, I don't know who that's by, but I quite like that one too. And I like panache as well. If anyone knows who that's by, and um, that one smells like the Chanel eau de toilette. And I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, or actually no, it smells a bit like White Linen by Estee Lauder. Very, very slightly. Okay. <clears throat> this one is a celebrity perfume who you probably all know. Katy Perry. Um, I don't... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... It smells like, for those of you who want it again, like it smells... It's 100ml, so it's an eau de parfum. Um, and it's similar to Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture Viva. La Juicy and the original not the um it's similar not the same but very similar it's a really nice bottle I like the bottle it's like in the shape of a diamond for those of you who have not seen it it's called Killer Queen's Royal Revolution this I know is still available so you will be able to check it out um and it was I believe when I bought it it was £19.99 £19.99 £19 but I could have waited and got it for twelve pounds now, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a one hundred milliliter bottle, and yeah, and the top of it is like a 
It's like a crest kind of thing. It has a nice crest. I have this thing about undoing bottles and doing the back on the pen. <laughs> so yeah, those ones are those. So I will be back in a minute. Um, sorry about the noise. It's my mum hoovering up, by the way, for those of you who wonder what the noise was. Okay. Um, and I should say I have many celebrity perfumes, so if you're not into celebrity perfumes, that's cool. Um, I how I do, however, have some others that aren't celebrities, so if you want to hang on to them, feel free. Um, okay, and also, oh, I'll show you this one. first perfume that I brought over is this one by um, Woods of Windsor which is as in it's not I'll just put it in the description um, it's a I want to say an eau de parfum it's something that you either like or you hate um, it smells like lemon with a bit of orange to it, it's it's really nice. I like it, and I don't like citric scents much, but this one I do like, and it's a hundred milliliter bottle, and it smells like obviously what I've just described, but it smells similar. It smells similar to Lancome, eau de Lancome. Not the same again, but similar. Just I'm just making sure that I don't, you know. So I don't know whether that's, I don't think it's a celebrity perfume, but yeah, that's that one. And then I'll show you this one. Should I show you? No, I don't think I'll show you this one actually. This is by Diane von Furstenberg. Forst, Furstenberg, I don't know how to pronounce that. And it smells like, um, It smells like it's called Diane, and again it's a hundred milliliter bottle. I have this thing where I have to buy big ones in case because I've, I've bought perfumes that have been discontinued and I've ended up not being able to get them again, which is really frustrating. It smells like um, I'm trying to think. It has re it's a really heavy floral, so it's like it's really it's really like it's not a day scent. I wouldn't say this is a day scent, um, but it's nice. I like it, um, and the, that and the fact that it sounded, it sounded just like a cool perfume to wear. Okay, so that's Diane von Furstenberg. Um, I'll show you. This one. This is by Zara, from yeah Zara. And I can't remember if it's femme or black amber. I want to say, f I want to say femme. Um, it came as a double, uh, double set. So you got a full, two full size bottles for the same price as a single at the time. Um, the annoying thing is they've changed the packaging and the bottle shape. So I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. But yeah, um, I haven't honestly worn this a lot. It's, I wouldn't say it's full, but it's nearly. I don't, I don't know if I like it as much. I do like it, but I don't really wear it. It's in a cube or it's in a cube shaped bottle with a tiny little lid. I like small lids. I do not like perfumes that have stupid sized lids on them. Um, for example, the Diane von Furstenberg isn't that bad actually, considering. Um, yeah, I'm one. Of, I don't like oversized lids. Okay, so it's either femme or black amber. <laughs> it's one of the two. I know that. Okay, um, then this, this next one is, again, it's not a celebrity, I don't think, by Elizabeth Arden, who brought out the classic Red Door. Um, this is called Splendour, and this is, this is an eau de parfum. And it smells like... I don't, I don't know how to... Do you know what? It smells like Eternity Moment, actually. A tiny bit, only a tiny bit. I, I'm gonna have to resmell that, but yeah. 
Um, it's 125 milliliters, and the Dion is an eau de parfum, as is the Zara one that I showed you. So yeah, and the Splendor, where I got it from, was the perfume shop at 14 pounds, and the Diane was from the fragrance shop at I want to say 10 pounds or 15. This one was the Burg oh yeah, and I don't know if I said this, but it's called Bergamot. Bergamot? Bergamo? I don't know how to pronounce that. Bergamot and Neroli, which are both types of orange. Or subtypes. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then this one is a celebrity fragrance by Stacey Solomon. I, didn't, I wasn't even aware that her perfume existed, but yeah, apparently it does. Um, and it's called Smile. This is a very incensey fragrance. It smells like cinnamon. Um, it's it's similar to, um, to I don't know. It's called Black Dark Pomegranate. It's not the same, but it's very similar. Similar, yeah. It smells. It smells like um, incense and like orange and chocolate. That sounds disgusting, but it actually smells. It doesn't. It's it's not it's not a bad scent at all. I like it. Um, but then again, I'm I'm known for wearing weird scents, so you know. Right, I will be back in a minute. Oh yeah, and the uh, the. The Stacey Solomon was super cheap at four ninety nine, four pounds ninety nine p, um, and I think the bergamot was either ten pounds or fifteen. So I will go get another selection, and I'll be back in a minute. And yes, these are all, all my perfumes. <laughs> okay, back, and we are back with the fragrance rose quartz. This one is by Lucia Dixon, and lasts for ages on my skin, and it's not rosy but it's not a nasty scent i do like it and i would repurchase it um this one's quite a nice alternative to a rose scent because it does smell sort of like a rose like it's not it's a really nice scent and that's an eau de parfum too and it's 100 milliliters and i think i got it for 12.99 and the next one i'm going to show you is sarah jessica parker lovely i have two sarah jessica parker fragrances um, which I will show to you. Um, <clears throat> I like this one because it smells older and I like older smelling scents. So yeah, slash mature scents. There's not much left in the one I'm holding right now um, and that was twenty no, £14 pounds, and which is an eau de parfum too. So that's lovely. Um, and it smells like lavender with a little bit of sea salt and cumin, cumin, I don't even know how to pronounce that, excuse me, pronounce that. But yeah, um, so that's the Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. Move it to the side, I need the rose quartz. And we'll move on to these two fragrances. I'll show you this one first because it's just too cute. It's by Amerta and it's called Love Feathers, which is a replica of, or a smell alike actually, not a replica, a smell alike, of Le Duton by Nina Ricci. I'm no good at pronouncing all these like intricate names. <laughs> um, and it does actually smell similar. It doesn't smell the same, but it does smell similar, and I like it. And it was five pounds. I don't know if it's an eau de toilette or an eau de parfum either. And I don't know where you can purchase it. The, the place that I purchased it from was in Skeggy, so Skegness. So I don't know if it's available. I know for a fact it's available online. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> this one is by That's Love Feathers. Um, and it smells older again, it smells like more mature. Um, spray that myself actually it's if you've ever smelt 
smells leathery and spicy to me. Not leathery, actually. It's just spicy and like gardenia. Um, when I smelt it, I'm like, there is no way a copy of this, but apparently there is a replica slash whatever the word is that yeah um but yeah this is by that's love feathers that i just told you about and this one the next one we're gonna move on to is oda gaga by this lady herself lady gaga which is a cute 50 ml bottle and this is an oda parfum and I have used this one quite a bit, so there's not much left in it, I don't think. I think it might be half full or quarter full. Um, I like Lady Gaga's fragrances because they're in your face, and I like in your face fragrances. In your face fragrances. Um, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what this reminds me of. It reminds me of leather... Lime and sandalwood, yeah. Oh, and now I'm smelling the love feathers. I just thought I'd point this out. It smells really like gardenia. Like, I love gardenia as a scent in a perfume. So I thought, what a bargain, you know. So I will be back with the last part. And then I'll upload this to YouTube for you. So stay ready. Okay, last two for this video will be um, these two. And they both have really cute bows. Um, this one is by... Or from, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Only Way is Essex. And I'm really hoping I can get another bottle of this because it smells really good. It smells like mint and patchouli and maybe lychee, lychee, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But yeah, it's a really nice shaped bottle as well. It's in a diamond shape with a bow on it. And that was 4 99 And this is the last one I'm going to show you for this video. And it's called Cashmere and it's by Next and Next do really nice perfumes but I don't like all of them um, I like this one because it's I get a headache <laughs> um, it smells like green grass lemon grass I don't know what I'm I don't know why I'm seeing that because it probably doesn't smell anything like that to me but I'm seeing lemon grass and just meadows so yeah that's been my first part of my perfume collection um, if you like it uh, remember to hit the like button and if you want to keep up with what I do just press the subscribe button and yeah it'll be much appreciated but you don't have to um, but yeah if you like just rate, comment, subscribe and stay red and I will be back tomorrow. See you later guys.